Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change column width and adjust row height. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have my Excel spreadsheet here, and the first column that I'm interested in looking at is column A. You'll see here that not all of the text is fitting within the columns. So you'll see that if I click on A4, it actually is supposed to say North Miami, but it only says North here. That's because Miami is being cut off. You can even see it down here in cell A6. This is supposed to say East Miami, but it just says East and then half of M. The way that Excel reacts to text being too short or too long for the column is it'll actually cut it off. And so you'll see that right there. Now this is a distinct difference from what it does with numbers. And you can see in column B here, we have these pound signs down in column B. If you click on this, you're going to see that the actual number here is 2000. Same if you hover over it. It says 2000 right here. So why doesn't Excel just show a portion of 2000? Well, if you think about it, uh, it it's going to cause a major problem for you if only a portion of that number shows up. So if you ever see a bunch of number signs, pound signs, hashtags, whatever you want to call them, in your columns, that's the problem that you're having, is that it's a number that is too big for the column that you're seeing. And so we need to increase the column width in order to fix this problem in Excel. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to fix your column width. The first way is if I click on column A, and let's say I want to increase column A, all I have to do is go in between column A and B to get right here and you're going to see a black vertical bar with two horizontal arrows and you click and drag to the right. Now this is one way to get an exact custom width on your um, on any of your columns. Okay, now this is helpful for if you want to increase the width to the, that exact point. And you can see that the width currently is 22.71 or 164 pixels. So that's one way to adjust your width. Okay, now uh, if I wanted to decrease the size so that it doesn't have so much extra space, I could go right there and leave it about that. It's the same way for increasing and decreasing column width. Now there is a way to do this using the ribbon. You go to the Home tab you go to the cells group and if you click right here on format you can adjust column width right here now you'll see an option when I click on column width this will adjust it to 13.86 which is its current width right here now it's a little hard to tell what's the perfect width with these numbers because there's not a great way for us to just know oh I need my width to be 25 here so I usually don't use this method instead if I want that to be perfectly fit I can use what's called auto fit and so if I go to the home tab format group click format and I go right here to auto fit column width you'll see that it fits it perfectly on the edge of the right side of the uh, words and so that's a cool way to do that we say okay that's great all I have to do is go to the home tab cells group format button auto fit column width now one difference is that you can um, you can do this with one column or you can do it with multiple columns and so what happens if I go here and highlight a and b and I want to format auto uh, width or auto fit co column width it'll work just fine so that's one way to do it I'm gonna show you another way now now if I do a control Z to back this up you'll see that column B is here if I ever want to auto fit my column width without having to go to the format tab or sorry the format button I could go right here in between columns B and C and just double click watch what this does double click now this is great because even if my columns are the wrong size let's say I shrink this column shrink that column, I make column A too big, so this is a, obviously not very uh, good for my uh, column width. All I have to do to auto fit all of my columns at once is highlight all of the columns that I'm interested in and then go in between any of the two columns where we get that black vertical bar and uh, horizontal arrows and then double click and it's actually going to auto fit all of the columns that you have selected so it's a very easy way to adjust your column width now let's start talking about row height as long as we're talking about this topic you're gonna see row 10 here is not correct I have my revenue up here in row 2 I have my profit down here in row 18 but row 10 is obviously too small now to increase the row height all I have to do is go in between column or sorry row 10 and 11 and I can drag down to increase that row height or I can double click just like before to auto fit it. Now that's two ways to adjust your row height. Again you can always select multiple rows if you need to do all of them at once and double click to auto fit all of them and that'll work just fine. 
Alternatively, if you prefer the ribbon, you could also go to the Home tab, the Cells group, click the Format button, and then over here you're going to see Row Height, which adjusts it based off of those numbers. That, uh, again, isn't very useful because um, unless you know the exact number, that's not going to help you out too much. Or you could go right here to Auto Fit Row Height, and you can select that to do the same thing. Personally, I prefer double clicking just because it's faster, but whatever method that you prefer is fine for you. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below and have a great day and thank you for watching.